Well, hello there. Welcome to Dental Bliss. I'm going to be your dental hygienist and your doctor for today. I'm Dr. Marche. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. We try to make this a very comfortable atmosphere for our patients, so I'm glad that you feel comfortable today. So I'm just going to go over the summary of your notes. We have yet to have your x-rays. She's going to be bringing the x-rays to me in just a second, but I just want to go over the vitals for today's visit. Okay, so your blood pressure is 140.73. That's not bad. The top number is a little elevated, but nothing to be uh, concerned with or anything as such. So good deal. Your weight today is going to be 255, 12.8 ounce. Your height is 6'2", and your BMI is 32.84. Your temperature is 96.9. Your pulse is 92. It's a little elevated, but nothing to be concerned with. I know that the dentist's office makes people a little nervous, so it's okay. Respiration 20, oxygen saturation is going to be 97%. Okay, good deal. Alrighty, so tell me what's going on with you today. What brings you in here? What's going on? You have a little pain going on. Yeah, because you have yet to show me your teeth. Uh, you haven't smelled not one time, and I can't really see your teeth. You have not shown me them, but that's okay. That's what I'm going to be taking care of you for today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and look to see what's going on. I'll get my flashlight here. And if you can just open your mouth for me. wide oh okay wow oh my goodness okay I'm gonna put my mask on because this is a lot going on and I'm also going to go ahead and put my gloves on. I don't want to come into contact with anything that's going on in your mouth. So I'm going to put these gloves on because I just need to confirm with what's going on inside of your mouth. Open wide for me again. Now, when's the last time that you've been to a dentist? 35 years? Okay. That absolutely shows. That absolutely shows. Let me get back in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely you have a lot of Decay, tartar buildup, inflamed gums. I can see you have infection, and also this is really bad. You have cavities on every tooth, everywhere. Oh my goodness. With it being 35 
that means that you are in advanced stage of periodontal disease, okay? You have periodontal disease. And unfortunately, that means your gums are bad. Your teeth are horrendous. It's horrific. It's a horrific bang-up job in your mouth, okay? And unfortunately, we're going to have to take all of your teeth. We can't save any of them. They're all bad. Now, you had half of a tooth. That was good, but that's bad. So, all of your teeth are going to have to come out today. It's going to be extensive work that we're going to have to do. So, we're going to have to pull all your teeth. None of them are good. And then, your gums are so bad that we can't even put screws in there. Meaning, we can't give you a dental implant. We can't even give you a dental implant. Okay. So, what we're going to do is find some super glue. And we're going to glue them to your gums and hope that they stay on. At this point, we're, we don't have many options for you, okay? So, give me a second. And let me tell the nurse, the dental hygienist, one second. Yes, Susie. There's no need for you to bring me the x-rays. I've seen enough. Yeah. Yeah. So, cancel. I need you to cancel all of my plans for today. I won't be doing much with you. And I need you to call my husband and tell him to pick up the kids and figure it out. Yeah, he needs to figure it out. Tell him I said figure it out because I won't be home tonight. I have a job to do and it's going to take all day, unfortunately. I'm going to be here all day. Yeah, so I need you to bring me my tool set because... The equipment I have in here is not going to be able to handle this situation. Bring me my toolbox. Yeah. And also, I'm going to need four antibiotics. And bring me four ibuprofens and four Tylenols. Extra strength. It's for me, you idiot. It's not for the patient. I'm going to need it. Okay? I'm going to need it. So bring that to me, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And, um... Susie, also bring me my camera. Because I'm going to open... Um, I'm going to be winning an award. This year, I'm gonna win an award for this job right here. So I need to get the evidence. So bring me camera, okay? Thank you. Okay. So, as you heard, I'm gonna need to pull your teeth, okay? And we're gonna have to unfortunately use some very um, invasive tools to get all this stuff out because my tools can't handle what's going on in your mouth, okay? So unfortunately, we're gonna have to do some really hard work today, okay? Okay, just, just so you know, okay? Excuse me? Well, I didn't have to ask you if you were allergic to, to latex. At this point, with what's going on in your mouth, you can handle just about anything. You're not allergic to anything. Okay? So it doesn't matter if you're allergic to latex or not. Okay? It doesn't matter. Because at this point, it doesn't even matter. You're not allergic to anything. You, your mouth is so diseased that it doesn't matter what you can handle anything. I'm also going to be using acid for the infection in your gums because antibiotics will not work for you. So 
of the inside of your mouth because this is amazing okay so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take pictures for evidence because I'm going to I need this as backup okay open wide big old smile there good perfect open wide
I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Besides, I said that I was going to put acid, you're going to need acid, bleach, peroxide, all of the works. All of the works. This mask is so hot, I can barely breathe. But I have to use it as safety precaution. for 35 years you've had lots of infection indicating in your mouth already that you survived the worst the worst was having all of that decay into your mouth smell the infection through the mask. This is really some really poisonous decay you have going on in each of your teeth in your gum pockets. I hope I don't get sick. Back behind 
all the disinfection that's going on in your mouth. And normally, healthy gums do not bleed. Unless you're really being rough and reckless, then yes, even healthy gums can bleed. But because your gums are infected with infection, impacted infection, this blood is gushing out. But it's okay. You can handle it. I've already given you your peroxide, bleach, and acid. I've treated your gums, so antibiotics will not take care of what you've had going on in your mouth, okay? So, this is what happens. I've never, in all of my years of dentistry, dealt with a case like this, but it's a first for everything, right? you won't do this anymore well you don't have a choice because you won't be doing this anymore all your teeth are going to be gone okay so you don't have to worry about practically going to the dentist anymore your gums are gone your teeth are gone so this is knocking a hundred birds out with a hundred stones. Normally it's you knock two birds out with one stone, but you have a different type of case. work that I had to go through with you. And I want me to work with them. give out. Oh, this is the hardest I've ever worked normally. People only come in here for cleaning. Just a regular cleaning. They don't need acid, acetone, bleach, peroxide, all of that to treat their gums. They're just coming in for a regular six-month cleaning. I've never seen anything like this. 
practice in all of my years in dentistry. What? In the world. Okay. Oh. My back hurts. Jesus. Okay. Okay, let me try to different different. but I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Okay? For sure. I need the hammer for this stuff run part right here. that I took and all of the Tylenol and ibuprofen that I just take, I took about 30 minutes ago, but I got a job to do here, fortunately. infection right there. Oh, that's real bad. And, oh, that's really... We're just gonna keep doing that. cracks and all of that breaking sounds and all of that because you had a lot going on and we had to get this taken care of unfortunately I don't know what you're crying for it's okay you've, you've dealt with the hard part you've lived with infection for 35 years
we are done. You still have excessive bleeding, and like I said, we use super glue to put to adhere the new teeth. We couldn't give you implants, your gums are too infected. Okay, so we're going to just water your situation down. We're going to use a water pick. Um, water picks are highly recommended. Any good dentist will recommend a great water pick. You can use the one that is, um, you can charge it up or put batteries in it, the cordless one or whatever. So we're just going to use some water to put that in there. Okay. Spray a little bit out. Okay. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Good job. Okay, and um, you need to buy you one of these ASAP when you leave here. You need to invest in this ASAP, okay? You need this in your home. Although you don't have any real teeth, you still have some gums that are gonna be inflamed and infected probably for six months. So this is gonna help with that, okay? And also, we need to give you this kit, at this point, it doesn't matter if this is open or not because you're pretty much, you have lots of infection, okay? So it doesn't matter if this is open or not, you can use it, okay? Then we're gonna give you some Crest. You're gonna be taking this home and we're gonna give you a toothbrush that you use on your, um, your new little chiclets that we put into your mouth for today. So we're gonna give this to you to take home. And um, also we're gonna demonstrate how you're supposed to floss. Now I'm not gonna demonstrate with this. I'm gonna demonstrate with some real floss here because a lot of people, they floss wrong, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to properly floss, okay? Now, in between your chiclet teeth, your new chiclet teeth, what you want to do is get your floss out. And when you floss, you want to floss, you bring it around and you put it in your teeth and you bring it around your gum and go upward. Each tooth, go upward. Each tooth, wrap it around in an angle, circular angle, push up. That's what you wanna do, circle angle, push up. And that's what you wanna do. People like to floss and they go like that and go like that and go like that, but that is not how you properly do it. You wanna bring it around at an angle and go upward to get the food from up under your gums, okay? So, which is a good one. You can use any floss, just properly use the floss. So, yeah, we got your goodies and everything like that that we're going to give to you to take home. So, I know you're in pain. No, we're not gonna give you any medication because the medication is, it's not, it's not gonna help. The infection, like I said, your medication is going to be the acid, the um, bleach, and also peroxide. That's the only thing that's going to help you, okay? So, I know that was a bit painful. And we want to get, I want to get pictures of the end result for evidence. So, we're going to do the before and after. So, let's go ahead and big smile for me. Okay, wow. Those gums are really bleeding, but they're gonna see these teeth. 
the new teeth. Okay, let's see. And one more. I'll actually open up really wide and get the bottom row. Okay. And up top. It's for my personal events. Okay. Great. So we got the before and after shots. And I know you're in pain, but you are definitely good to go. And I, I'm tired. You know, I'm tired. I've done an amazing job, I feel, with what I was given, the challenge that I was given. And I think I did a bang up job. So I'm so glad that you came to Dental Bliss, Bliss Dental. And I hope that you have a blissful day, okay? Tell all your friends about me, alrighty? Alright, bye-bye.